Good afternoon, it's Living the Good Life, and I am back. I have some pretties to show you, things I bought recently, useful stuff, vintage, antique, and sterling. So here we go. At one sale, all I could find was useful stuff. So it was the um, uh, Glade for 50 cents, the um, Bath and Body Works was 50 cents. Yeah, all, all of those that you're seeing right now are 50 cents a piece. So I did really well there. On the farm, we need the backwoods off all the time. Um, here's something you haven't seen in a while. I was going through a lot of my boxes and all, packing up after the garage sale. And I ran across this. My friend goes, you don't want to sell this, do you? She was helping me unpack some boxes. I'm going, no. <laughs> so here's what I got. It was $24 several years ago. Look at this beautiful Limoges plate. Can you imagine? Look at that heavy gold, the impressed flowers. Can you imagine having a set of all of those? Oh, so pretty. Let's look at the mark real quick. So, uh, let's see, Limoges, France, whatever that says. You can probably see it as well as I can. So, that was really neat. Let's put it back up. And this is back to the new stuff that I've got. So, I was the first person at an estate sale, and I got to go through a couple of tubs of silverware and I've got their number and I'm going to call them back because they said that I could go through actually the sterling that he had picked out. I was hoping that these would be sterling but this mark, Curtisville is silver plate but this guy was only in business from 1840s to 1871 so they are still antique fiddleback spoons and I just think they were fun and they were a dollar a piece. Um, I got uh, these at the same sale. These are the ones I actually found that were sterling in the sterling bid. And he asked me, are they sterling? I said, yes, these were. These were not. So here we go. Sterling. Sorry, I'm not very still right there. So that was a butter knife. This was a cute little spoon. And it says sterling as well down here. And then this, this is my pride and joy. I love this. <clears throat> it does not say sterling anywhere. I can just feel it has a lot of give to it. And here, it has their initials in 1845 on it. This is my earliest dated piece of anything. So I am going to put that pride of place on the, um, my little silver racks and stuff. And I need to show you all that sometime because... You know, I'm getting to have a lot and lot of silverware holders, and I thought for people that like sterling, they might like to see what all I have. I got this for $5 a piece, and it is the Black Scroll Pyrex, so that was really fun. And um, I was digging around in, in a sale I'd already been to where I got the silver, so I went back again on 25% off day. And in the garage was this bronze lamp. It says uh, McClellan. Oh man, I forgot what that says. I gotta get up. McClellan Barkley. So if you if you Google him, it looks like they've replaced the cord. He had these bronze uh, fluoroform lamps and other things, and that was um, I think it was five dollars, and I got a couple of things. Oh, I got a um, and it's in the car. It's a um, uranium glass shaker, a green shaker. I think it was five for the, three or five for the two. No, it was a dollar a piece. So that was a dollar. So I forgot. And at another sale, I got these. These were, are the little jam pots. I think they're anchor hawking. So I've got the strawberry and the, the apple. And this was something on my wish list because I had seen people, other people getting them. And it take, took me years. I mean, I've been at, and, and, you know, garage sales and antique sales and all for years. And I could never find them. And now I'm finding them. They're coming out of my ears. So um, those two are there. They were $5 for the pair. I found this at a sale. And it was said $25 sterling. And it says sterling right there. And we're going to weigh it while I tell you the rest of the story. Um, hopefully this little scale will work. So, there was a couple of pieces in the um, cabinet that said sterling, $25. I scooped up both, oh, it's too heavy, that's a good sign, let's big the other scale out. Um, 
and I kept looking at it. I had other people that I knew look at it, and um, we couldn't find it. It was not sterling, so I, I took it back, you know. Okay, so we're going to try to weigh it again. Come on. Oh, it would be nice if I hit zero. And here we go. Come on. 115 grams divided by 31. So we have three and a half ounces of sterling. And sterling is right around, what, 22 right now? So uh, that was a really good buy. I figured that it was. And I think that's all that I have to show you right now. I'll show you more later. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.